I don't know what it is about Ring. There is something so subconsciously linked to it within me that I often can't help but reflect when the inevitable storm rolls in. Something about the atmosphere, the sun-blanked sky, and the wet cement under my feet brings me back to another time. The aroma that surrounds the coming and going of an afternoon storm, that sweet smell that somehow makes me feel happy inside as I jump out of my tiny elementary school chair for 15 minute recess. Today is April 26th, 2023. I started my morning by waking up early, taking a shower, and throwing everything together at the last minute to hopefully make it to class on time. As I hopped into my car, I noticed raindrops on my windshield. I didn't really think much of them, leftovers from a storm I was asleep for. I drove my way to campus, parked, and began the short walk to class. The gray clouds drifted above me silently, the sound of the street was quiet for once, and a gentle breeze crept its way through my jacket. And then I noticed the worms. Hundreds of them, scattered across the pavement as I had to dodge them left and right, their wriggling bodies being a signifier of an aftermath of a rainstorm I didn't see. And it wasn't until this minor interaction with worms that I realized it was going to be a good day today. When I think about my childhood and rain, the relationship between the two was mostly inspired by the content I was taking in. I knew what rain was, I knew how it sounded, but I didn't quite know how it made me feel. That was until I watched the Pixar short Red's Dream for the first time. To be honest, I couldn't tell you what it was that made me feel so strongly about this four minute short. But to this day, when I think about the imagery Rain represents, this is what I always think of. The distant saxophone, the red fluorescent lights, and a unicycle propped up against the wall. I remember sitting down on my living room floor, watching this, among other Pixar shorts, as the frequent Missouri afternoon storm rolled down my window. To me then, the rain just meant I wouldn't get yelled at for being inside all day. To me now, the rain always makes me miss those days. I wish I didn't take them for granted as much. About two weeks ago, I had some free time after classes concluded for the day, and I stumbled across Red Stream again. When I opened it on Disney+, Plus, I was hit with that nostalgia wave we are all too familiar with. I felt like I was a kid again, back in a place where I had no responsibilities, the usual effect that nostalgia has over us. But why is Rain somehow more effective at doing this? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm nostalgic for all sorts of stuff, but for some reason Rain is the quickest way for me to experience that high of nostalgia we all seek. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the only one that experiences this. We've all seen Minecraft nostalgia videos before on YouTube. It's what I and many others grew up playing, and if I could put my entire childhood into one piece of media, it would be Minecraft. I still play to this day, and to be honest, I never really stopped. But the nostalgia for the game starts to wear off when you're playing it so frequently. The music is what keeps microdosing that nostalgia. It's no secret that C418 made arguably the best video game soundtrack in history, but in my time playing, there's one game mechanic that always hits me like a truck. The rain. When I was younger playing the game, it was difficult for me to play on the computer with friends. Before I actually knew how computers worked, I was stuck playing a lot of single player and a YouTube history full of failed attempts at starting a server really reflected that. Because of that isolation, I would keep myself busy with my imagination. 
I was too scared to play survival alone, so instead I would place a boat in the ocean and sail for hours pretending I was on some grand adventure. But what would truly make me feel like I was in a movie was when I'd be sailing and it would start to rain. Combine this with the low hum of the game's soundtrack and it was as if the game had completely transformed. As Minecraft has continued to be updated, changed, and argued over by the community, we are lucky enough that some things have remained constant since we were kids. To many of us, the game's music is something that can never be changed. It holds a meaning far beyond the bounds of a computer screen. For me, I've been lucky enough for the game to have the exact same rain it's had since I first opened the game, and I wouldn't give that up for the world. Nostalgia is a unique emotion because we all attach ourselves to our pasts in different ways. My forms of nostalgia may not be the same as yours, they just overlap on occasion. I would still argue though that one of these biggest overlaps is rain. We write songs about it, we dance in it, we get sad because of it, and yet we still love it with everything we have. With summertime just around the corner, it's nice to see the snow start to disappear and the rain take its place. Rain from where I'm from signifies the start of a new season, a hopeful deterrent from the chilling winter colds. Maybe this is why I view rain in such a positive way. When I was young, rain meant that school would be over soon. It meant that my worries and responsibilities would dissipate and summer would give me time to do the things I actually wanted to do. I could see my friends. I could play Minecraft until my parents yelled at me to go to sleep, and I could wake up whenever I wanted to. But rain and nostalgia have another thing in common. They aren't always for the best. One of the most popular emotions paired with rain is sadness. From a psychological perspective, rain is often associated this way because of a dip in serotonin levels due to the lack of sunshine. It can keep us isolated from others, cancel our plans, or even be a slight reminder of winter weather. It truly does vary person to person. Rain is a great example to define everything in moderation. Too little rain and you long for a thunderstorm to roll in, and too much rain and you beg for sunshine and warm weather. It's difficult to always find a balance of both. If you look into the culture that surrounds us, it's interesting how there's such a wide variety of perceptions of rain. In the music world, rain is often associated with depression and loneliness. On the other hand, you see how rain is used in film, representing separation, a setback for a character, or even a dance number. When rain is used for a specific reason, it can be a powerful tool to make an audience feel what you want them to feel. Rain can be used just as effectively as lighting in a movie or lyrics in a song. It's incredible how a weather effect we experience in our lives has such a profound impact on the art that surrounds us. When it comes to our lives, there are few things we truly can control. We wake up every day knowing that the things we can't control vastly outweigh the ones we can, and yet we still get up and try every day. We'll always try and control the things we can't, saying things like, rain rain go away, come again another day, and knocking on wood constantly. But in the end, we can only make our day with what is given to us. When it rains it may pour, but who's to say that's a bad thing? I see it as an excuse to be a kid again. When I got out of my class this morning, the concrete had all but dried. The sweet rain smell had dissipated and the sun began to shine again. Reflecting back, I felt a little sad. Not because of missing the storm, nor because of longing for another nostalgic high that rain so often brings with it, but instead, I was sad about the fact that I'll never know when I'm creating a strong enough memory for nostalgia. It seems like the most powerful moments pass by in my everyday life, and I don't even recognize them until years later. 
I can only hope that the great memories outweigh the bad and the nostalgia emotions continue on until I one day pass. But until I see my last storm, I'll keep counting the worms on the sidewalk ahead.